Hi guys, I'm Garrett. I am that guy right there. So about a year ago, we started a YouTube channel called The Buckless Family. So we've got two kids, and we travel full time around the world. We try to visit cool places, do cool things, get to know the culture, learn new skills like kickboxing in Thailand, and do really cool adventures like oh, this was my favorite. This was Tonga. When we went out on a boat and we jumped in the water, like jumped in the water with humpback whales, it was spectacular. And then we try to do service everywhere we go. We especially like to knock on people's doors and surprise them with cool stuff like basic surgery, free trips, and I mean, stay tuned because we have some really cool free trips coming up. And our favorite part is that we get to do these cool service projects together with our children as a family, and that makes it the most special of all. So. That's our YouTube channel. We have new videos every Sunday, and this video is going to be a tutorial how we create our videos. A little bit of behind-the-scenes stuff for you. Let's get started. Step one: wait till everyone goes to sleep so you can have some quiet time and get some work done. Just kidding. But seriously though, I'm just kidding. But seriously though, okay. So some of this video will just be the basics, how to get started, and then some of it will be favorite tips and tricks that we use when creating our videos. This is our first behind the scenes tutorial, so I'll keep it short, otherwise it could get quite long. These videos usually take 8 to 12 hours to create, so we'll just get started and keep it simple. So when we import the video files from my camera, they look like this. Then I'll go through, change the title to categorize them so I know what's in the video, whether it's at the pool, or the sunset, or whatever it might be. So everything is easier to find. I just started doing this maybe, I don't know, 12 videos ago, and it really helped me save a lot of time. Open up iMovie, that's the video editor we use, and then I will take whatever section I'm going to start with and throw it in there. So just dragging it into the timeline. So now you can see here's all of our talking parts. It shows here that there's about 17 minutes of us talking. That's because in order for us to get like three minutes of decent quality talking, it takes us about 20 minutes. We're not very good at it. I mean, then there's just the basics. We watch through the video. Good morning. We are in Mykonos. Greece. Stop it where we want to. Right click. Split the clip. If we don't want the rest, delete it and you just chop it up. That stuff's simple. So as you can see, there's a lot of tools, there's a lot of sections. Really, most of it, and this is how I learned, is you just need to hop into iMovie, start playing around, start messing around, and anytime there's something that you want to do but you don't know how to do it, just Google it. Ask a friend. Really, it just takes time. you got to play with it and you'll just get better and better along the way. So at the very beginning of our Mykonos Greece vlog, we had this cool passport stamp graphic. I'm going to show you how we created that using graphicstock.com. Graphicstock.com is a very helpful tool for bloggers, graphic designers, and other creatives. Some sites similar to it will charge you every time you want to download something new. But at graphicstock.com, if you become a member, then you have unlimited downloads to access their graphics, images, and other design assets. Very helpful tool. All right, so we are going to graphic stock. And this is what I'm looking for. Make sure I have EPS selected. All right, we're going to use this guy. I'm going to be overlaying on more of my videos, so I'm going to want the whole thing to be white. Now let's make it look... So right now I'm in Adobe Illustrator, if you're unfamiliar with that. It's, it's a really good tool to create graphics, specifically vector-based graphics. Vector means you can scale it as large or small as you want to, and it doesn't become pixelated or blurry. So if you were to scale a PNG or a JPEG up, it gets blurry. Vectors never blurry. In Illustrator, it's pretty basic. There's a lot of tools you can use in it, but to do the basics, it's, it's pretty easy. 
similar, similar to iMovie, you just need to get in, play around, mess around with it, and pretty quickly you can get a hang of it. So as you can see, I took a complicated graphic from graphicstock.com, and I'm editing it to make it our own for the video. So right now the fonts are all the exact same size. Um, I think I'll change the size of the fonts, give them some variation and some hierarchy in their design. Jess, yeah. what's the day today? Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I say never mind, but I totally got it wrong. And I didn't do that on purpose. People in our video called us out saying, it's not 2017, it's 2016. And that's the first time I noticed. <laughs> Should have listened to my wife. One person commented, it's like, is 2017 like a secret hint of things to come in the future? Nope, just a good old typo. Alright, so I'm switching up the fonts, making one bold, one a little bit smaller, and it just kind of gives variation to the design. There we go. Looks pretty nice. It also gives nice hierarchy, so your eye knows like what to read first, what's most important. If everything's bold or everything's the same size, it's a little too much for your eyes to handle. Little Design 101. So then I import it into Photoshop. And that makes it so that I can take a vector-based image from Illustrator, put it into Photoshop, turn it into a transparent PNG file, and put that into my video iMovie just handles well with these transparent PNG files from Photoshop. Alright, so when you import the graphic into iMovie, it initially looks like this. As you can see, it is too big and not quite centered, so first we're going to crop it to fit the whole graphic. Then we're going to go to this tool and we're going to change it from cutaway to picture in picture. And that enables us to move it center it, and resize it. Just a hint, if you just drag one side, it'll go like this, but if you hold down Alt, it'll do it centered. So, start over, center it, make sure I'm holding down the Alt key, then when I drag it, it makes it big and centered. I'll make it about that big, and now I'm going to place it to the part of the movie where I want it, when we were flying in to Greece. Right now it has a fade effect on it. You can see it takes a half second to dissolve in and out. Um, I'm going to just take that away, change that to a zero, so now it just cuts in faster. Boom. So that's how we used graphicstock.com. Took a complicated graphic, made a few simple edits, and made it our own, added some fun flavor to our video. That's the gist of our tutorial. Hopefully do some more of these. If you look at the description show notes below, that's where I'll add some other notes, our contact information if you have any follow-up questions, and if you want to try graphicstock.com yourself, you can access a free 7-day trial. I'll add the link in there. You can check it out. All right, next tip, I'm going to show you how we do our intros. Our intros are pretty simple. They look like this. So this is how we make that. Here's the intro currently. Good morning. We are in... Mykonos. Greece. <laughs> Greece. That's awkward, so we're going to pause it before that part. We are in... Mykonos. Okay. Pause it. We are going to screenshot that scene. 
and then we're going to drag that into Photoshop and copy and paste it into this Photoshop file that I've already created for past videos. So if I paste that screenshot into it, this is what it should look like. As you can see, it gets darker, then the week appears, then the location appears. This is a simple graphic, that's why I can create it by myself in Photoshop. If I'm using a more complicated graphic, then I'll usually go to graphicstock.com, and that's where I get my more like complicated graphics that are beyond me. All right, now I'm gonna save this graphic in three parts. First, I'm gonna save it just with the shade. Then I'm going to save the week as its own PNG or transparent file. And then I'm going to add the location as its own. And this is a separate transparent or PNG file. And then I'm going to save it with the location as, again, its own separate transparent or PNG file. Save to the desktop. Go to my desktop. So this is where I paused it. Split the clip. First, I'm going to add in the shaded part. It's going to be about six seconds long or so. Then I'm going to add in the overlay graphics on top of it. So now you can see here's the week, here's the location, and those will come in based on when the music drops. So I have the music here. You can see in iMovie they separate it, so there's your video in the middle, overlay graphics on top, audio on the bottom. So here comes the audio. Mikino. The music starts right when the graphic turns dark. And then I'm going to put the graphic overlays and have them come in when the beats drop. So here's the first one. And this will be where the second one comes in. You can tell where the beat comes in because you can see the bumps in the audio. And then we'll drag this out almost to where it starts to fade out. And then we'll drag this second graphic all the way in to the end of the intro. So, so now if I play it, it should look like this. Mikino. I think that there we go. All right. So the next tip is for this water scene. We're at the pool, and there's music playing. Some of the scene is out of the water, and then some of the scene is in the water. And I like to do something so it makes the audio, the music change, so it sounds different when it's out of water, and then kind of muffled when we go in the water. This is how you do that. So I'm going to split the video when we go from out of water, in the water. And you can kind of see it happens about right here. So I'll split it there. And then I'm going to split it again when we come out of the water. So in the water, in the water, and out of the water. So I'll find it's about right there. So now we've split the video. And actually what we should be splitting is the audio because that's what we're going to be changing. So video on top, audio on the bottom. I'm going to split the audio when we go underwater. And I'm going to split the audio when we come out of the water. So... If we listen to it, it's just normal. So now I'll take this video or the audio when it's underwater. I'll click here on the filters, add the audio effect muffled. So now when I listen to it, Kind of cool, yeah? You can hear it, especially at the end part, how it goes from muffled, muffled, and then out of the water. We'll listen to it one more time. Cool. 
I like it. Okay, real quick, I'll show you how to do the underwater audio muffled trick uh, a couple more times. So here we go. We're out of water, and then we go underwater. Right now it sounds like this. So we'll split the audio, which is on the bottom, when we go underwater, and then let's find it when we come up, which is right... Split the audio. So, audio, go to effects, audio effect, muffled. Now listen to it. Here's another underwater part. Split the audio. Find where we come back up, which is right there. Audio effect muffled. All right, last time. Check it out. High five. Sounds great. That's how it works. Thank you to Graphics Doc for sponsoring this video and thanks so much guys for watching it. Ah, and don't sign out just yet. This is the new ending. I'm trying it out for the first time. YouTube, boom, has a new feature where you could initially only click on these on your desktop. But now you should be able to click on them on your cell phone. So if you're on mobile, you can click week one, our first video ever, last week's video, or the subscribe button. Try it out. It's brand new. First time using it. Please, thank you, thank you.